And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create snow. It's just one method, but I think it's a good one that gives you a lot of freedom to adjust it. At first make sure you've got black and white selected up here. Just click on the little icon if you haven't and make sure black is your foreground color. Create a new layer, I'll call that snow. And I select fill with foreground color, which is black in my case. I'm on this layer, I go to filters, noise and I use HSV noise. Check the preview, increase value and dulling to the max and go down with hue and saturation to the minimum. You can randomize it by clicking on new seed. Just confirm. Now go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. I'll use 1.5 and I just confirm it. Colors, levels and now you adjust these sliders. So you want your curve to be inside of these markers and then drag the middle marker towards the right. And you can adjust the right marker to add or subtract snowflakes. So if you want to have less, just drag it to the right. If you want to have more, just drag it to the left. And finally, set the blending mode to screen and then you're good. You've already seen that you can adjust it with the sliders, so you can add or subtract snowflakes, but you can also adjust the size of it. Let me make it a little bit thicker and I'll simply use a low darling for it. Once again, I'll add foreground color, which is black in my case. I use the HSV noise, go up with value, then zero for hue and saturation and the darling, I go to only one. Once again, you can click on new seed if you want that. Afterwards, Gaussian blur, low value at around 1.5. And finally use the levels and the curves. And you can see the curve is now more in center, but it's the same procedure. We drag the center slider to the right and we can adjust it and add more or get rid of some of these snowflakes. Then I confirm, set it to screen, and now these snowflakes are way thicker. So we can compare them to high dulling, which makes them smaller. So this is the second way to adjust it. As I said, use colors to add or subtract snowflakes and use this dulling to adjust the size of these flakes. And this is how you can add snow in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.